what's up? Monica here and welcome back to Commie Cat Creations. So today I'm back with another sewing tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute and super trendy off the shoulder top. I have been seeing off the shoulder stuff everywhere lately so I figured it was time to go ahead and jump in on that trend and show you how to make one. If you make this or any of my projects I'd love to see pictures so please use the hashtag Commie Cat Creations on Instagram so I can see what you're making and reshare some of your photos. And yeah thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get sewing. I used about one and two thirds yards of a lightweight non-stretch fabric plus enough half inch thick elastic to fit around my shoulders. To begin, grab a basic shirt with sleeves to use as a template and fold your sleeves into the center so that you can clearly see the curved seam where the bodice and sleeves are joined. Fold the bodice in half along the center and then to create the shape needed for the off shoulder silhouette, go about halfway down the armhole and fold the portion of the shirt above that point down out of the way so you can only see the bottom half of the armhole, then pin in several places to keep it all in place. Now fold a portion of your fabric over, lining up the stripes if you have striped fabric. Lay your bodice template onto your fabric, but instead of laying it right against the fold, you'll actually want to lay it a couple of inches away from the fabric's fold, and then pin it into place. Begin cutting about one and a half inches above the top edge of the shirt to allow room for our elastic, and continue cutting along the armhole, and here I cut about two and a half inches wider than the template. I added about 3 inches when I cut along the side of the bodice, and honestly there wasn't an exact science to my measurements, but basically since we're using a non-stretch fabric that has no give to it, we need to cut our bodice pieces significantly larger than our shirt template so that we'll have plenty of room to get the top on and off once our new shirt is done. When you get to the bottom edge, you only need to cut about a half inch lower for hem allowance. At this point you should have a piece cut out that looks just like this, and if it looks a few sizes too big you're on the right track. Cut out a second identical piece and then lay the two together with correct sides of the fabric facing together and pin and sew along the sides. Since we're using a non-stretch fabric you can sew with a regular straight stitch and a standard needle. It's helpful at this point to press your seam allowances open with an iron to get them to lay flat, but make sure to be careful. To create a sleeve pattern, unfold and lay out your shirt so that the sleeve is laying where this top straight edge is the folded edge of the sleeve, this edge is the seam where the sleeve is sewn together, and this curve that looks like half of a bell is the seam where the sleeve and armhole are joined. Lay a sheer piece of paper like tissue or tracing paper so that its straight edge lines up with the folded edge of the sleeve. Copy the sleeve by tracing over the curved seam and the other edge of the sleeve, and then make a straight line to mark your desired sleeve length. Use a tape measure to add a half inch extra for seam allowance on all the sides except for the edge we lined up with the fold, and then cut out the pattern and be sure to mark that folded edge on the pattern. Now this is the shape for a standard sleeve, but to create the off shoulder pattern we actually need to remove part of the curve of the sleeve, so take a look at the armhole of your bodice and line the fabric up along the curved part of the sleeve pattern. Wherever the curve of that armhole stops is where you'll want to create a straight line on the pattern which you'll then cut away. To cut the sleeve out, fold a portion of your remaining fabric over and lay the sleeve pattern onto the fabric, but instead of laying it right along the fabric's fold, you'll need to lay it a few inches away from the fold so that we'll have enough room to get our arms in and out. I laid mine about 3 inches away and then pinned it down. Cut along all the pattern's edges except for the folded edge so that you'll be able to unfold your sleeve and have a piece that looks just like this when you're done. Then cut out a second identical sleeve. Fold one sleeve in half so that the correct sides of the fabric are facing together and pin and sew along the long straight edge, then repeat for the second sleeve. Press the seams open with your iron just as you did for the bodice. To attach the sleeves to the bodice, you'll need to match up and pin the armpit seam of the bodice to the seam at the bottom of the sleeve's curve, then line up and pin the curved edges of each together. The easiest way to do this is to make sure both the bodice and sleeve are turned right side out, then open up the bodice so you can see the entire armhole shaped like a U, and the neat side of the seam is facing upward. Open up the sleeve with the neat side of the seam also facing out and lay it down on top of your armhole, matching up the two seams together together and pinning them in place. Then match up the curves of the sleeve to the curved edges of the armhole on either side of that center pin and pin them into place as well, making sure to pin frequently to keep those curves lined up neatly in place. 
Once it's all pinned, sew along that U shape to join the pieces together. Take your time as you sew. Since you're sewing two curved shapes together, maneuver the fabric with care so that everything matches up nice and neat and the fabric doesn't get bunched up. Once you're done, you'll have one arm attached, so repeat to attach the second arm. We need to create a casing for our elastic, so turn your shirt inside out and fold the top edge over about a half inch. Then fold it over again another inch and pin the fold into place. Continue double folding and pinning to create the casing all the way around the entire top edge of your shirt. I had some trouble getting the fabric around the sleeves to lay totally flat when I was doing this, just since the fabric doesn't stretch at all, so I had to create a few wrinkles to get the casing created, and this is totally fine. As long as you get your fabric folded into the casing, don't worry if it looks a little messy in some places. Once you've finished pinning the casing around the entire top edge, sew it into place, but make sure to leave a couple inch gap unsewn for your elastic to go into. Stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge you folded and pinned down, and be aware that as I stitched around the arms, there were several places, just like when I was pinning, where in order to get the casing sewn down, I had to let the fabric kind of fold on itself and create some messy little pleats along the edge of the casing, shown up close on the left. Please don't panic if this happens to you too. Once we put the elastic in, the fabric will gather and you won't be able to see any of those messy places because they'll blend right in. When the casing is sewn down, grab your half inch thick elastic and wrap it around your shoulders, stretching it slightly as you do so, and pin it into place to make sure it's comfortable yet still secure. Make a mark at this point and then cut your elastic about a half inch larger to allow for seams. Hook a safety pin on one end and slide it through the opening you left in the casing, and as you push it through, be careful not to twist the elastic. When you pull it out the other end, you can remove the safety pin and lay the two ends on top of each other, then stitch over them several times with a zigzag stitch to secure them. Tug on the shirt to get the elastic to lay completely inside the casing and sew to close up the opening, and now your top edge should be gathered just like this. Here's another up close of those messy pleats I showed you earlier, and you can't even tell they're there now thanks to the gathers. Now sew a couple of stitches over the elastic on either side of the shirt to keep it from twisting when you wash the top. At this point, I decided I wanted shorter sleeves, so I went ahead and trimmed them down now, and then I also added a few stitches on top of the seams right at the end of each sleeve to secure them since I cut off the back stitching I did when I first sewed the sleeves together. To hem your sleeves, make sure the wrong side is facing up and fold the raw edge over a quarter of an inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch and iron it down and then pin to keep it all in place. Double fold, iron, and pin around the entire sleeve and sew to secure the hem, then repeat so both sleeves are neatly finished. Now you just need to hem the bottom edge of the shirt exactly the same way and you're all done with this cute off the shoulder top. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. This way? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh man, mosquito. That was a really good intro. Ugh. Maybe this should be a new dance, the mosquito dance.